Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I thought I would take you along with me today on a day in the life. Uh, today is Tuesday. It is early and I just went downstairs and got the kids breakfast and packed up their lunch and I have about 40 minutes before they have to be off to school. So I decided I would come upstairs and get ready for the day. But if this is your first time watching, welcome. I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and in these types of videos, I just like to take you with me throughout my day and share it with you the productive things that I get done, what I cook, what I clean, <laughs> all in spite of having a full-time job. So today's video is sponsored by Tula and I am super excited to be working with them again. I'm gonna be sharing with you how I incorporate their skincare products into my skincare routine, my makeup routine, and there is one product that is definitely a must have, so I'm super excited to share that with you too. If you guys aren't familiar with Tula, they are a doctor-founded, clean and effective skincare and wellness brand, and 100% of their products are formulated with probiotics and superfoods. They definitely focus on healthy skin, not perfect skin, and all of their products are also cruelty-free and never tested on animals. Tula is also giving you guys 15% off your order, so make sure you check out the link in the description box below. You can use code GenChapin for 15% off. Uh, I actually used this in the shower last night and I'll be using it again tonight. This is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I would definitely recommend this. I've been using it for a long time and it's this container is huge, it lasts forever. I also like to use their 24 seven moisture, which is the hydrating day and night cream. I use this both day and night, I'll be using it this morning. One of my absolute favorite products from them, and if you don't get anything else, definitely get this, is the Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. So this I actually use in place of foundation. It is super light. I'm not a person that likes really heavy foundation, so it's perfect for me I put it on as a moisturizer after I put on my regular moisturizer and it also has a little bit of tint to it so it's perfect if especially if I'm just like staying home all day um, you know and you want to look a little bit put together but you don't want to put on a whole <laughs> face of makeup it's great so I'm just gonna wake up my face with a little bit of uh, my cellar water just to kind of refresh I do most of my skincare routine at night so I get in the shower I wash my hair um, I do all my skincare and then in the morning all I have to do is uh, refresh my face put on makeup and straighten my hair it's super easy so this is the 24 7 moisture you can see that it is super thick and creamy this is actually my second jar of this and I would definitely recommend it it has a very subtle um, fresh scent to it and it's definitely hydrating it's a thick cream without being too heavy so I would definitely recommend it. One thing I want to say about skincare, and I do not in any way, shape, or form consider myself a skincare expert, is that along with the products you use, it's all about consistency. Um, it's sort of like working out or going on a diet or something like that. You can't just do skincare for a couple days a week and expect it to, um, you know, work its best. So it took me a long time to realize this, and honestly, I was in my mid 30s before I actually developed a skincare re regimen. Okay, so this is the moisturizing blurring primer so I'm just gonna put like I don't even use a sponge to put this on but like you can see it's white when it goes on but then when you rub it in you can see like the subtle color so if you're pale like me and you just want a little bit of color on your cheeks this is perfect I love it it's like it's one of my like holy grail skincare products so you can see up there the tint when I rub it in it's magic ta-da okay I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna use this cooling and brightening eye balm from Tula. This is fantastic. This, sometimes I keep this at my desk. In fact, I need to put it back there. It is so refreshing. If you're just having a long day and you're like hopping from Zoom meeting to Zoom meeting and you just can't take it anymore, pop this buddy out, give yourself a refresh. All right, I'm all ready. Feel much better I always feel so much better when I get ready in the morning I would definitely recommend that even if you're not going to work or if you're not working or you're just staying home even just like putting on a little bit of makeup doing your skincare you know fixing your hair and for me it's always the earrings gotta have earrings <laughs> so anyway I am going to go downstairs and make sure the kids get off school okay and then I'm gonna start my work day I'll catch up with you guys later uh, but don't forget to check out Tula remember there's that discount uh, use code Jen Chapin link in the description 
question box below. Definitely, definitely get the face filter, blurring, moisturizer, and primer. Fantastic, love it, love it. Okay, so it's about 9.30 and I'm grabbing breakfast. Uh, I'm having one of these everything bagels from Walmart. I was actually looking for the Dave's Killer like whole grain bagels, but my Walmart doesn't have them. So I'm just having that with a little bit of this Organic Valley cream cheese, which by the way, this is the best cream cheese I've ever had if you've never tried it. And then I have some grapes here. And then I was gonna let you guys know also what I'm planning on making for dinner tonight. Uh, it is Swiss steak. So I actually got this cookbook. One of you guys messaged me on Instagram and said, have you seen this Aldi cookbook? And I was like, OMG, no. So I bought one for me and one for my sister and it has a Swiss steak recipe in here. So I don't know if I'm gonna follow this recipe exactly, but I did buy some cube steak at Walmart. So that is what I'm planning on uh, making for dinner. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so for the Swiss steak, I am going to just preheat my Dutch oven with some olive oil. And then I'm seasoning this cube steak with salt and pepper and a little bit of onion powder on each side and you just want to get that a really good sear in the pan once you remove the meat just let it rest while you cook the onions and I had some chopped frozen onions so I just added those along with some tomato paste and just cook that together until the onions start to soften next you'll pour in some beef broth and stir that in as well as some diced tomatoes I did not have diced tomatoes so I used regular tomatoes and just broke them up and then I I put the meat back in and pop that into the oven for about 90 minutes covered. All right, so it's now 6.30 and dinner is ready. So I'm gonna turn the oven off here is what the steak looks like. Um, it, you, I let this cook for a little over an hour. You can probably let it cook up to two if you want, just until it's really, really tender. And then I made some uh, mashed potatoes and then some peas. I was gonna make carrots, but I was on a call, it took way longer than I thought it was going to, so I didn't have time to peel carrots, so I just pulled some peas out of the freezer. All right, so I plated everything up. You know the steak is done when you can cut it with your fork, so yeah. All right, so I packed up the leftovers in my handy dandy little meal prep containers from Walmart. I love the color of these, aren't they pretty? So now I'm gonna do the dishes, even though I don't wanna do the dishes. It's 8.30, but I'm gonna unload the dishwasher loaded up with dirty dishes and then I think right, I'm gonna so go upstairs. This day has seriously kicked my butt, I feel. It is currently 9.45 p.m. and I don't think I really caught you up on what happened after work. So you guys saw me making dinner, but in the midst of that, after I got off work, I had, um, we had parent-teacher conferences for Connor and then we had parent-teacher conferences for Kira. And of course they're doing them virtually this year. So we got on Zoom and did that. Each one of those lasted 20 minutes. And then we got notification that the um, swim team wanted the kids to come and take a team picture with the banner that they got from state. So Adam ran the kids over there and while he was do while he was doing that, I had a call scheduled with the marketing department at the publisher for my cookbook that is coming out. And I actually have a release date now, which is super exciting. So stay tuned for more <laughs> details about that. I know I've been talking about it for a while, but uh, this whole process is very new to me. And you know, there's like a timeline of everything that needs to be done before the book is released. And so I found out a bunch of information about that and what I need to do. So that was very informative, but that took almost 45 minutes. Uh, I was on the phone so let me tell you a secret mashed potatoes I made for dinner tonight were instant mashed potatoes <laughs> Honestly, like I didn't realize I had like both kids conferences plus that appointment about the cookbook And if I would have like really processed all that in my head I probably would not have made like such an involved dinner tonight, but that's fine I haven't had Swiss steak in a long time and it turned out really good. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned but I'll try to um, Find a link online uh, to a similar recipe and leave it down below. I didn't really necessarily follow any particular recipe I just kind of wing wung it winged it after i looked at some videos online and stuff so anyway i'm super tired uh i need to take a shower and go to bed i'm having a coffee but i feel like i got a lot of things done today and i was semi-productive however these taxes for 2020 are the bane of my existence it is just i want it to be over <laughs> Like, I just want to get all of my things in order and get it to my accountant and I want it to be over and it's not over yet, but my goal is by the end of this week to have everything over and done with. I just, I haven't, like every year, you know, well, let me start from the beginning. So, you know, I've always had some type of like 
some type of like side job or side income or something. Now, YouTube has been the source of, of side income that has made me the most money. And so obviously, as you make more money, it gets more complicated. <laughs> and so like when we were first married, I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You know, I maybe made like five grand a year or something like that um, on the side. And you know, when I scrapbooked, I made a little bit of money on the side, but it's just like everything gets so complex. And yes, I have someone to help me with it, but a lot of it is just like bookkeeping tasks that um, I didn't, like I thought I was keeping up with them, but it, as it turns out, I wasn't keeping up with them as great as I should have, but that's fine. It's all learning experience. So anyway, I thought I would share with you my FabFitFun box because that did come in the mail today along with a couple other things that I got in the mail. Uh, I bought this FabFitFun box with my own money. So I was influenced by someone else. So as much as I influence you guys to buy things, I am also influenced <laughs> by many other people uh, online to buy things also. So it's been a long time since I've gotten the FabFitFun box, but I decided to give it another try. In the past, I haven't been able to customize it and so it hasn't been uh, super great for me, but this last couple times I was able to, and then I got a couple add-ons. So I did see they had this, uh, the Laundra Signature Detergent. So I picked up some of that. I can't remember how much it was, but it was discounted. Anyway, it smells good. And then I also got some of this Coco Floss Delicious Mint. Now, apparently this is like the, um, the bougie dental floss. It says a soft, fibrous cocoa floss with coconut oil and natural mint fragrance to scrub your pearly whites ultra clean. So anyway, I got that. Now, I don't exactly remember what's in this box because I feel like I placed my order a long time ago. There's some cards. Oh, there's some stickers. These are cute. And then they always include like a little magazine too, which I normally just look through here and see if they have any recipes. And if they don't, I toss it. Okay, so first thing, I don't remember this, but it looks intriguing, is a moisturizing hand scrub. So this will be nice to maybe do a little hand treatment with some lotion. Okay, this next uh, item is a hair mask. It is Soleil Gloss Moderne Clean Luxury Collection. Uh, I love hair, hair products. I'm a hair product junkie, so looking forward to trying that. Uh, these, I do not know, what are these? Okay, so these are reusable beauty rounds oh so like do you use these to take off your makeup and then wash them i need to go to bed they're soft you put them on your eyeballs like this i guess i'll have to try these i don't know um someone was telling me about like the reusable um cotton rounds so i don't know oh now this i'm excited about this is a watch by monroe uh so it says it's water resistant and it's rose gold with a gray band i thought that was super pretty so i always wear a Fitbit watch, but sometimes I feel like it's nice to have like a dressier option, um, especially if you're gonna go somewhere, not like we're really going a lot of places now, but I do feel a lot of hope in my heart about the end of this pandemic. Like I feel like more and more people are getting vaccinated. I'm actually getting my second vaccination this week of the Moderna vaccine. Um, Adam hasn't gotten his yet, but he may be getting it soon, maybe through work, I don't know. Uh, so I don't know. I just, I feel like more and more people are getting vaccinated and I just feel like I feel like hope. I feel like positivity about it. But anyway, um, this will be nice. Like maybe when I start to actually go to work again in person or travel and have to dress up, this will be nice to have. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. Just a tip. If you get this watch, it has a plastic film on it. I really like it. I think that's pretty. I'm definitely going to wear it. Okay. The next thing are these scarves. So I actually saw these on uh, Dr. Dre's channel when she was doing her FabFitFun unboxing. I don't know. I'm like a very I don't feel like I'm a scarf person. I mean, maybe I could like use it to tie my hair in a ponytail. You know what? If I did the uh, vintage cooking videos again, I could use this for my hairs. I feel like I need a poodle skirt or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's my thing or not, but I'll, I'll think on it. There's a pink one and like a cream colored one. I could juggle. Okay, the next thing is this tweezer set, which this is actually really nice. It comes with a little case and these little floral tweezers. I'll actually Actually, probably put this in my travel travel bag for when I ever travel again because I'll be nice to make sure that I have a pair of tweezers in my travel bag I feel like I feel like I have one now but I feel like they're just like an old junky pair so this will be nice last 
but not least, I'm very excited about this. So uh, I remember picking this out now. So this is from Our Place, which is who makes that super duper overpriced um, nonstick pan that I have and is definitely not worth the $145, but they have a, um, a bento box. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so that's cute. This is, I love little bento boxes like this. So it comes with this and then what do you do? Put that, put this in here like that. Doesn't make sense. And then it comes with like silverware chopsticks. Put that in there. Boom. Comes with a little rose gold strappy doodle. That's pretty cool. I like it. All right. I hope you enjoyed that uh, impromptu unboxing of my um, FabFitFun box. Again, not sponsored. I just thought I would share with you guys what came in it. Uh, and then I also got some planner items. So this is from a place called The Planner Spot, which I've shared them before. I've really been enjoying like working in my planner, decorating my planner, all those fun things. So these are some vellum dashboards. And then I also got some stickers. There's like dinner stickers, birthday stickers, um, some work icons that are really cute. So I'll link her site down below. I think I have a discount code too. I'll link the FabFitFun box down below too if I can find a link or a discount code or something. I don't know. You guys let me know how you feel about it. I know I've gotten it in the past and I haven't always enjoyed it, but I thought this one was pretty okay. And then I also got these stickers from Planner Kate. Um, she continues to be one of my favorite planner, sticker planner shop. Um, she had this fun set this year and it was like funny holidays. So it has like one for every day of the year here. So like uh, in March, like March 18th is Awkward Moments Day. The 20th is National Quilting Day, World Poetry Day, National Puppy Day, Waffle Day, National Mom and Dad Business Owners Day, I Am In Control Day. I don't know, I just thought they were fun. And then I also got these really cute pizza stickers. We always have pizza night every Friday night, so I thought this would be fun to put in my planner. And then I got a couple different uh, word stickers. So one of them is for meds, to remember to take my meds. And then the other one is for grocery pickup. And then, I don't know, I kind of got these late, but I can use them next year. They are little swim icon stickers. I thought those were so cute um, for when the kids have swim. And then uh, these are little holiday icon stickers. Aren't those so stinking cute? Aren't those cute? I just love them so much. And then she always sends a bunch of freebies too, which I think is is really nice. And she has pretty uh, quick shipping. I think a lot of these stickers they print to order. So definitely taking that into consideration, she has quick shipping. All right guys, so I'm gonna clean up this mess of a desk. I'm going to go take my meds and I'm gonna go to bed. And first I'm gonna wash my face and take a shower probably. Again, don't forget to check out Tula. I'll have all of the information down below. You guys can use code Jen Chapin if you want to get 15% off your order. Definitely try out their skincare items as well as as the uh, blurring moisturizing primer bomb diggity don't forget it thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye